After researching so much, then I felt that I needed to to be as authentic as possible. This first time director turned her short film into one of the biggest hits of Sundance. Every January, the Sundance Film Festival takes over Park City, Utah, and more than 125,000 film fans from all over the world come together to celebrate their shared passion for cinema. Of more than 14,000 submissions, 112 feature films were selected to exhibit at this year's festival. And one of our favorites was a touching drama called The Mustang. The film was written and directed by Laure de Clermont Tonnerre, a Paris-based filmmaker who made her feature film directorial debut at this year's Sundance. The project is born here, mm -hmm. the Descendants Labs, and so, you know, giving birth here yeah. is an amazing and very special. It took four years until we finally can show the, the film to the audience in Sundance. So wow. it's kind of like, here is a very special place and location for me in the film, because it's really where, where everything started. The Mustang tells the story of a convict who begins to heal his violent past by working with a particularly difficult to tame wild horse as part of a state-sponsored prison program. It's beautifully shot, heart-wrenching, and it makes a powerful statement about the world in which we live. Lore first became interested in studying the role of animals in rehabilitating prisoners in a short film she wrote called Rabbit, which premiered at Sundance in 2015. Then, thanks to the Sundance Institute, she was able to begin working on a longer script about a similar topic, which eventually transformed into the Mustang. I read an article on a French magazine about animal therapy in prison, and it was about this prison in France who were doing this therapy with small animals, with rabbits and birds and mouses and chinchillas even. It was pretty heartbreaking and tragic when I went there and could observe how, how like petting a small animal were healing so much. Those, those men who actually was reconnecting with themselves and their own emotions and kind of like were opening themselves. So it was beautiful. I did this, this film, The Rabbit, um, in Rikers Island. And, uh, and then when I digged into this subject a bit more and I found out about those horses in Nevada, so I decided to go there. After researching so much, then I felt that I needed to to be as authentic as possible. Without Sundance, none of this would have been possible. Robert Redford himself even wound up producing the film. And they all give a lot of their experience and shared experience and, and really lead you and, uh, and give you so much uh, um, advices and tips. And Robert Redford included. Robert Redford has a lunch with every student and speak and takes the time to, to really, uh, uh, you know, be able to, to give advice and experience and help and share and it's so humble and such a process that you're not judged. You're, you're just in very safe uh, and kind and warm family environment. While the Mustang is only premiered at Sundance for now, audiences all over the country will soon get a chance to see it for themselves when Focus Features releases it in theaters this March. But what do you think? Will you be saddling up to see the Mustang? What kind of movie would you want to make? Let's discuss. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and share this video. And until the next time that someone asks you why the long face, be sure to stay tuned to Nerdist.com. How long have you been in prison? 12 years. And how long from the thought of the crime to the actual crime? Split second.